What's up? I'm John Jr. I'm Stain. We're playing Culture Abuse. This is the Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet, man. This is the Silver Bullet. A home away from home. I actually live in this van. He does. When we're home. I have no <laughs> home. I live in this. I drive a lot. I really like driving. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a, a trucker <laughs> and drink a lot. When and I grow up. Do nothing You're 30. <laughs> but drive trucks and listen to rock and roll. Um, we have a schedule for for who drives because we used to all get so fucked up all the time that no one could drive. So we came up with a system and basically we all like kind of stand around each other and then someone yells one, someone yells two, someone yells three. And then once everyone has a number, we go in order. So the first night of the tour, number one drives. The second night, number two drives. And it's always after a show because we have to go somewhere after the show. Either a hotel or... Uh, a homie's house or whatever so someone always has to drive someone ha one person has to stay sober he never drives so I don't have a driver's license so yeah. uh, so he my sober day this... was yesterday though yeah so, you know he sits tonight. in his seat a lot because he, I've uh, sit in this seat every day on this tour what do you call it and the the neck breaker because <laughs> there's no comfortable way to sit in the seat for That's true. a six hour drive seven yeah. hour drive yeah a two hour drive it's a hard seat. I listen to a lot of wrestling podcasts. <laughs> I love wrestling. It's my favorite thing in the world. And there are too many podcasts out there, so it really helps to drive. It takes up a lot. I also listen to a lot of music. I listen to podcasts when people are sleeping and no one that gives a shit. But uh, if I'm driving and I got to focus, like, I'll listen to just, like, some fucking Skinner or, like, Led Zeppelin, uh, George Thurgood. Love me some pop punk, dude. Some Blink-182, dude. Uh, some good shit. <laughs> Dave listens to a lot of, I don't know what to call it, obscure pop. Like, like. Well, also punk. a lot of reggae and dub. So dub much reggae, and yeah. Like old school pop punk, you know? Yeah. Like D4. Clash. The Clash. I don't consider them pop punk, but I mean, you know, they started punk, so. Ramones. Uh, Nick listens to... Only the, the, he's the one who listens to the obscure shit. Yeah, he listens to a lot of doo wop and shit. <laughs> DJ DJ Stainer over here. He, so uh, because he's I've, gonna headline emo night pretty soon. <laughs> because I've taken over this seat for this tour, I'm usually the one who gets to take the music. You know, unless I usually play for the room. You know, I play for whoever's driving. Like the other day, John was driving during the day, and I put on this like country playlist that I found on Spotify, like old outlaw country, and he fucking loved it. He fucking loved it. So, that, so we all kind of like have our things that we like to listen to, but I definitely put on a lot of early 2000s emo that he loves, but not everyone in the band loves. I get down. I get pissed, pissed a couple of the dudes off every yeah. once in a while. But. I got this mask on the second day of tour. Uh, I was wasted and I went up to the merch table and I didn't even want it, but the dude just handed it to me. Nolan, shout out Nolan, souvenirs. And uh, so I came up with this. I also stole one of our old, our own band's hats, and I lost it that day. So I'm on a roll. Uh, my bucket hat. We got oh, some spray paint. Sticks, some film, film. Spray paint. Um, we got graffiti remover spray because one night when I was living in it, uh, someone tagged the side Ninja of it, Valley. and I googled what the best remover was because I was so afraid to tell everybody that it got tagged because I knew I would be the one to have to pay for it. But <laughs> found this on YouTube, super good. Get it at any Home Depot. <laughs> I didn't pay for it, so I don't know how much it cost, but <laughs> it took it right off and didn't it. fuck up the finish. So um, what else we got we drumsticks. We got scissors, oh, we got an OG games. Sparks. OG Sparks <laughs> doesn't does they don't make these anymore. I have from a band called Small Stresses that opened up the show in Detroit. Small Good stresses. homies. Um, we got a lot of change over here. Oh, this is great. This is a very cute postcard. <laughs> from Nebraska, Hogs and Kisses. We used to have a lot more flair. We had some flair. We had some flair. So, with us right now, we have a merch guy. So, there's five people in our band, and him, our merch guy, Micah. Shout out, Micah from Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> so there's two in the two in the back bench, yep. two in the in the front bench, two up in here. Driver, passenger, homie, 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 homie. Um, when it's not super trashed, uh, we just load it out, so everything's kind of everywhere. Yeah, everything is. But um, 
right up here we have uptown and right down here we've got downtown so so usually, sometimes someone's sleeping uptown some, sometimes someone's sleeping downtown so you can squeeze down in there pretty here, good and then someone's up here someone's up here you know down and then overnight but drives never get this luxury yeah because he's in the neck breaker so um but yeah everything that's usually in the back is now thrown up front so we got we got a lot to talk about, I guess. Oh, shout out High Brew Coffee. Yep, High Brew. These dudes, that. fucking every time we go on tour, they give us like ten cases of coffee to help us because we, unfortunately, haven't headlined a tour yet. So every time we start a tour with a band who's headlining, we have to drive to them. And we live in California, so this tour started in D.C. Our last tour started in New York or Boston or something. I think Boston, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, so. We're driving a few days in a row, all day, every day. So thank you very much, Hybrew. You guys help us not crash and die. Um, there's a lot of pocket change on the ground. Um, it, it slips in between the vinyl. So if you're lucky enough and you're sleeping down here, you might win a dollar. You can come up. Yeah. You can come up for sure because, you know, cash is tight. Cash is tight. We got a lot of tight. snack wrappers. Shout out Lifesavers. <laughs> Shout out... Hershey's Kit Kat, cause Hershey's indoors. We need these every day. This is Dave's. Um, this is Dave's bag of goodies. He records people secretly, so if you're ever talking to him, you're probably being recorded. Um, he so. he records a lot of sounds on here, which are pretty fucking sick. It's some a lot of cop sounds and stuff because we like to make fun of them. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna play. It might be dead. It might be out of batteries. But no, you know, dude, there's a lot of police sirens, <laughs> random conversations. We, were, we ran into a protest yesterday in Detroit. He recorded that for a little bit, so. A lot of wind. The wind sounds are really cool now. A lot of field recording. Maybe. Let's see what else we have. A lot of shit, you know? A lot of stuff like that. Um, this is Dave's Maraca, uh, he, he spray painted, painted it, <laughs> and he just drops it wherever he wants to, so it's, it's a little messy. Um, we got some cameras laying around, we all take oh, photos yeah. and stuff, I'll so, take photos. a lot of cameras, uh, cause you never know when you need a photo, another camera here, um, Bags and shit, motorhead button, shout out motorhead, Lemmy, rest in peace, my dude. We uh, went to go see Fiddler on a day off in uh, Columbus, Ohio, so that was pretty rad. Shouts to them. This is John over here. This is John. <laughs> <laughs> we call him AJ. He's usually mad at us because we don't give a fuck and don't follow his rules. <laughs> I have no rules. <laughs> he follows rules, man. <laughs> he follows the rules. So, the other day in Columbus, we did a, we rented a U-Haul. Well, our homie Matt did. We did an art show in the back of it. And he made these pieces for us. Um, these are all photos we took. So here's a picture of us that uh, Micah took. Um, here's one of Nikki. Getting choked out by our friend Chase that Dave took. Uh, here's a photo I took in Italy of a cool dog looking through some fence because that's kind of our thing. Uh, this is our guitarist Nick's only tattoo. No rules. This is Shane's pig. This is our girl Sarah from New York. Shout out to Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. I don't, is it Nick? Uh, I, so, no. I took this photo in our first time ever in Canada, in Vancouver. Uh, and I do not remember who's in the photo or when I took it or where I took it besides first tour in Canada. It's kind of, kind of true. Kangle, you know, our boy Davey. <laughs> All right. So these are disgusting, dirty clothes. From uh, all from Ross, our yeah, drummer, our who has no respect. Uh, this is Micah's skateboard. None of us skate for all posers, but he's very good. And he will convince good. you he's not good, but he's super good. Uh, let's see. We got a box here full of zines that Dave made of photos of the crowd. So if you ever come to a show, you will probably get your photo taken. Um, lots of stickers. 
and stuff. Me and this dude, we usually handle the, the, the original loadout, which we use. So I'm like the Tetris guy, and he's the heavy lifter. I he's my muscle, and, and I'm the brains yeah, and the looks. it doesn't really make sense by the way that we look, but... What are you saying? I'm big? <laughs> anyway, this one weighs more than I do. Uh, <laughs> but we, we've we slimmed down our gear just because we realized how uncomfortable it is to just be packed in there. And when you're touring so much and for so long at a time, it just gets a little frustrating to always be around your boys constantly. Um, so we've actually, I used to use a um, four by 12 combo with the head and our other guitar player did and we had a big ass bass bass cap for him we still got the big ass bass cap but our guitar player now plays a combo and i just got one as well um but usually back here you can't even see out the back you, you look yeah, behind it's and stacked to the gills, it's stacked you know, like it's, all the way to the top it's, as you can tell we have a lot of merch boxes merch and stuff it takes um, up a lot of room our bags are back here too so um you know, not a lot of not a lot of room, space for a lot of stuff. Um, and we bring spare guitars. So yeah, you got to have spare guitars. So. And we're trying to prolong touring with the trailer as long as possible because not I don't trust anyone who drives in our thing to drive with the trailer. This is a copy of New Noise magazine. Shout out New Noise. Uh, this is us and nothing on the cover of it. This came out in a couple months before the tour. June. June. Doesn't have a date on it, but uh, June I think you can buy it online. It's very cool. Comes with a flexi of a nothing song and a culture view song that's unreleased. Very cool. Uh, shout out New Noise. We got a new album out. It's called Bay Dream, released on Epitaph Records, the greatest record label in the world. Uh, recorded by Carlos De La Garza. Uh, shouts to him. Um, yeah, it's a good record. You should check it out. Spotify, iTunes, uh, YouTube, YouTube, uh, Bandcamp, I think. All the good stuff. Everywhere. Everywhere, Everywhere you will ever listen to music, you will find our new record, which you should check out. Ten songs, front to back bangers. All singles. All singles. <laughs> uh, our website is cultureabuse-uncensored.com. I guess it's a hyphen. Yeah, Culturebuse hyphen. hyphen uncensored.com. Um, our Instagram is Culture Abuse Fanzine. Our Twitter is Culture Abuse. Uh, we are super friendly online, and we'd love to hear from you. So hit us up, and we will most likely reply. This good guy is the king of the DM, <laughs> so he will probably get back to you. Uh, the rest of us will commentate on how often he answers the DMs. And how terrible my answers are for some Yeah, time. but I mean, we're, we're trying. We really are. <laughs>